Hi, I'm Peter Brogdon and today we're going to be talking about how to easily clean the sensor on a Canon digital SLR. Now before we dig in, let's deal with one common point of confusion and that's where the photographer confuses dirt on the sensor with dirt in the viewfinder. Now if there is dirt in the viewfinder, it's not going to appear on your images. It's quite easy to check for dirt on the viewfinder. Simply take the lens cap off your camera, point the camera at a continuous tone like a blue sky or a white wall, have a look through the viewfinder and you can clearly see any dirt. If you do see dirt there, it's really nothing to worry about. It's not going to affect your images. Now, uh, most modern cameras have self-cleaning sensors these days, so they're actually quite good at keeping themselves clean. But it is completely normal for over a period of time, uh, the odd spot will appear on your sensor and it will begin to start affecting your images. You'll see them in spots on the sky, uh, on images that you see on your computer screen or on the LCD on the back of the camera. Now it's a good idea to take a test shot before you start cleaning in order to properly identify where the marks on the sensor are. Now when you're preparing for sensor cleaning, prepare a clean area to work in. There's no point in attempting this task in a dirty, grungy environment. Now in order to take a test shot, the first thing to do is set your camera to aperture priority so that we control the size of the lens aperture and what we're looking for is a small lens aperture for maximum depth of field. So that means dialing in a big number like f22 or uh, f16, f18 uh, to get the maximum depth of field. Uh, use a 100mm or 50mm lens but nothing wider to make sure that you get a good uh, image and we're going to point the camera at a white subject so that we get a continuous tone uh, on our image. So obviously take the lens cap off, we're going to set the camera to manual, uh, manual focus because we don't want to focus on the subject, we're just interested in the stuff on the sensor. So we've got aperture priority, f22, manual focus, turn the camera on and take a picture of your white subject while you move the camera to ensure that nothing here can come out on the image other than the muck on the sensor. Right, in order to clean the sensor we need to have access to it and that obviously means using the camera menu systems to access uh, the sensor for cleaning. Now the first thing to do is to take the lens off. Now once the lens is off it's no good leaving it here and allowing dust to fall on it. So take a lens cap put it on the lens and that way your lens will remain dust free while you're cleaning. Equally, don't leave your camera on the bench like that to let dust fall in it while you're cleaning. Either keep the camera like this while you're working on it or like that to keep the insides as dust free as possible. Because we're going to be lifting the mirror and the shutter to get access to the sensor, we need to make sure this camera has a fully charged battery to ensure there's sufficient battery power to keep the mirror uh, lifted and the shutter open while we're cleaning. If the battery has insufficient power, you'll find that some of the menu systems won't let you access the sensor. So just make sure it's got a fully charged battery before you start. Uh, leave the camera in aperture priority mode, turn the camera on and using the menu system select sensor cleaning and then clean manually and then if you press OK the mirror goes up, the shutter opens and we now have a sensor ready for cleaning. So the first thing to do with a dry clean is to use a blower Normally I keep my blowers in a polythene bag in order to keep them hygienic and make sure they don't hoover up any dust when they're not being used. This blower has got a, a filter on the input side so we know it's hygienic anyway. It's also got a nice soft tip so it's an extremely safe blower to use. So we've got the camera in mirror lockup. We hold it upside down. We'll move the blower near to the entrance to the mirror box. We don't need to put the blower inside the camera. Just give it a couple of vigorous squeezes to dislodge any dust from the sensor. Now, once you've used the blower, 
If you have a loop, you can use the loop to check whether that's got all the dust off. They're a useful thing to have. So, let's check the sensor. And if I can see any dust remaining, it might be appropriate to move on to the second stage of sensor cleaning with a brush. So, these brushes are made out of a very soft nylon. And because they're nylon, they can take a charge. So, if I charge the bristles up by passing air over them, I've now got a charge on those bristles which will attract any dust inside the camera. So, in mirror lockup mode, carefully put the brush inside the camera and gently go along the surface of the sensor from one side to the other and then carefully out of the camera. And hopefully that will have picked up any remaining dust. Obviously you don't want to touch these bristles with greasy fingers so once you've finished pop them back into their storage container and then if necessary we can check again and make a decision as to whether that is sufficient cleaning or whether we need to move on to the next stage which would be a wet clean. So the last stage of sensor cleaning is to do a wet clean and this is to deal with any marks that dry cleaning has not dealt with. These can be pollen, uh, diesel particulate or even uh, lubricant from inside the camera itself. Now wet cleaning involves wiping the sensor with a moistened swab. Now we have two cleaning solutions for using with the swabs. We have gamma solution and beta solution. Both have the same cleaning power uh, but the beta one is to use if you're travelling by air. The swabs come in three different sizes and to make it easy to decide which swab you need we've colour coded them. We have red for uh, crop sensor cameras, yellow for full frame cameras and blue uh, which is an intermediate size which can be used on some micro four thirds cameras uh, and the 1.3 crop cameras. It's easy to identify which colour you need because we have a chart on our website that you can refer to. These swabs come in a sealed up packet. They're cut extremely narrowly at the top which makes it easy to see what you're doing while you're cleaning and uh, they're completely safe, held on with a band. There's no glue or welding involved in the construction of these swabs so they're extremely safe. So the first stage to do is identify the swab you need and I like to prepare before I clean. I get the handle half out of the bag, I get the top off my solution so that I'm ready to go. So we'll turn the camera on and we'll go into mirror lockup mode. And now we're ready to clean. Take the swab out the pack, wet it with two or three drops of the solution and then put the swab into the camera and align it up with one end of the sensor and then move it down the sensor one way till you reach the other end of the sensor and then carefully go back again till you reach the beginning of the sensor and then pull that swab out of the camera and discard it. That's contaminated, you don't want to use it again. Turn the camera off and we can now refit the lens and do our final test shot because we should now have a nice clean sensor. I hope you found that useful. You can't stop the sensor getting dirty from time to time. I hope this video has shown that it's really an easy process to keep your sensor clean. If you've enjoyed it, give us the thumbs up. Thank you very much. <laughs>